All right, everybody. Um, it is Thursday, August 15th. This is the last day of my second week. Um, I know that these videos are probably going to coincide with each other weird, but uh, I'm not an expert, so I don't give a shit. But, uh, so the first day was more like basic training. Uh, we had a quick orientation, uh, met a lot of the people in the school, and then we did, we had pizza. But then after that, we left the building got our books they put us in a line a door opened and your books were given to you then after that they um gave you your tool bag then we had to walk a half mile to a different building so that we could start our class um and the first night they walked us through the refrigeration cycle it was pretty quick and they were basically saying you know this is what you need to know this is what you need to learn now, the second, the last day of my second week, we have a test tonight on the full refrigeration cycle, the major components of an AC system. Um, we've studied thermal dynamics. We've gone over um, proper purging on our manifolds. Um, so it's moving pretty quickly, but the curriculum is geared towards making you learn things efficiently and it doesn't seem like anybody in my class of I think 26 is lagging the school is very efficient at teaching people this information and make and, and ensuring that they're comprehending it um, I can tell you right now I've learned a lot more than I have from watching YouTube videos um, but it's it, I guess it's the way that they articulate it to the individual so that it's easy to understand but they take it in depth so that you understand the science behind it. Latent heat, sensible heat. It's you now subcooling, superheat. It, it, it just it, it's really interesting how they did that. We've already connected our gauges uh, to a live um, to a live unit. They have multiple units in the classroom, ranging from R410A to R22 to I think one of the R22 derivatives. Um, they've taught us. Uh, manifold care, how to take care of our manifolds, how to read them properly. So it, it's it's actually, it, it's, I, I didn't anticipate this. I didn't anticipate the curriculum to be this efficient. I thought I was going to walk in there and just learn a bunch of shit I already knew, but this is actually pretty nice. But I don't want to build assumptions. I, I just want to be candid about this and give it from my perspective. Um, but, you know, going school to school from 4 p.m., I'm sorry, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., you know, it's dragging, but they keep it going, they keep it live, and and that they are just repetitive with the things that you need to understand. Look, we're not teaching you this because the curriculum tells you to. We're teaching you this because these are the things that you are going to need in the field. Our, our teacher, our instructor, or whatever you want to call him, um, I think he's like a 14-year veteran of the HVAC uh, trade not only in residential but commercial um so he's very he has a very good understanding of the trade he's, he, and he doesn't claim to be an expert he knows there's a lot that he doesn't know uh so i, I, I mean this is the second week um i'll try to upload this but I, I i if you have any questions comments again you want to roast me talk shit that's fine i, I just want to do this for anybody you know, that is looking to go to an HVAC school and give them a, a good understanding. Maybe n later this week or this weekend, I'll try to do a tool review. They gave us a tool bag with um, almost every hand tool I guess you would need. Uh, and they gave us a manifold, a multimeter from Field Piece. So, and every, all of our tool, all of our tools that we were given to us is from Klein. So that was interesting to see. Um, so again, comments, questions, post them below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to you know, answer whenever I can. Thanks.